The production and use of steel in the construction sector has come a long way in the last decade. Advances in steel design and fabrication technologies have led to more innovative solutions and structural steel is now seen as the material of choice in the design and construction of multi-storey buildings. In the wake of the Wellington and Christchurch earthquakes, this awareness of seismic resilience has really grown. Straight after the earthquakes, people were afraid, they were scared, they were, didn't know which building was safe, which wasn't. The engineers had to come up with new ideas, meet new regulations. Steel was the choice because it met all the new regulations. It's fantastic to see all the different architecture of the city and knowing that 80% of these buildings are all built in steel. The steel construction industry knew they had a responsibility and an important role to play in bringing Christchurch back to life and to educate the building sector. When ECI came about, the early cotton tractor engagement, it was really great for our industry. The engineers, the architects, the building contractors would get involved and come up with efficient designs from a, the methodology to build those buildings. And it was really good to see engagement of all the parties doing that. Our clients are increasingly looking for design-led outcomes that are enduring, sustainable and resilient. Structural steel allows us to provide innovative solutions to those complex problems. We are currently working on the University of Auckland Recreation and Wellness Centre. Meeting the complex brief on a constrained existing site required vertically stacking large column-free spaces. This could only be practically achieved using structural steel. The fabricated steel diagrid columns provide an opportunity for a visually dynamic and expressive structural outcome. So all of this has been possible through using the latest in digital technology and really strong and close collaboration between the design team, the contractor and the steel fabricator. The benefits of working with a local steel manufacturer or fabricator is the ability to engage with them whenever you need to. You can come and see them on a daily basis, a weekly basis, talk to their drawing team, talk to their general manager. As a builder, that's what's really important to us. There's precision with the steel work being normally manufactured off-site, put together. When we get it to the project, we know it's all going to fit once. Utilisation of structural steel on a project for the speed and precision is really important to a builder and really important for our clients. You know, ultimately, you may get between a 10 and 15% saving on time. Key benefits is being able to get the steel up quickly, being able to take the structure off the critical path, get your building services happening really fast, and then start to bring up your facade and get the building wrapped as quickly as possible. Here at the Park Height, structural steel was used as a low damage solution. Another advantage of using structural steel is the seismic engineering solutions that it offers to not only protect the occupants of the building, but also protect the building itself during a design level seismic event. When you come to the interior, the structural steel has been concealed to help complement the architect's vision, which helps to create these large, impressive spaces. A perimeter exoskeleton was provided to help control torsion, which is basically allowing the seismic forces to be distributed to the elements that they were designed to go to. Structural steel is also being used extensively throughout the country for the adaptive reuse and strengthening of existing buildings and is the go-to choice for seismic retrofit designs. With buildings like the Science Centre at the University of Auckland, we're able to reuse the existing foundations without having to demolish the building in its entirety. This was possible because of steel's lightweight, which allowed us to increase the building from 4 to 12 storeys. The hidden, long-span structural steel also allows for flexible spaces, hanging stairs and big open areas. Well, this is a very exciting project and involves a very unique building. The design for the cab was started in 1955 and the building itself was completed in 1966. It's the first example of a steel moment frame being used in New Zealand construction and was the first skyscraper in New Zealand. We're really excited to be able to recycle this 100% steel frame. The building itself has an A-grade seismic rating as it stands today, which really proves what a fantastic material steel is for constructing buildings and for adaptively reusing existing steel frames. We see that the building you don't build, or the wall you don't pull down and rebuild, is actually the most environmental way of providing homes for New Zealanders. And the cab's just another example of that. We've reused the whole steel frame 
98% of the waste for this building has been diverted from landfill and the steel has all been reused. So the embodied carbon in this building is far less than what a new build would be. It's made us look forward to being able to work with future steel frame buildings uh, when we look for our next project. The past decade has seen a revolution in the way we collaborate, design and build with steel. So it's no surprise that steel's market share is more than 50% nationwide and growing. The future holds huge potential for our industry to amplify steel's contribution to a sustainable, climate resilient and economically strong New Zealand.